Hello, my name is Hans George Campbell. Tonight, I wanted to show you guys uh, one of my favorite games of all time. Um, and that's Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. It uh, was originally released, I, I believe, way back in 2001 for the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox. And I have both versions still in like new condition. I used to play them all the time. And 20 years later, the game has been released for the PC. And so I plan on doing a complete playthrough of this wonderful game on my YouTube channel, Disc Based Games. And, um, but before I do that, um, I want to first, you know, show the, the first level of the game and um, to basically whet your guys' appetite, you know, and maybe get some feedback from me. And do you want to see me do a playthrough of this game? Because it's going to include, of course, you know, my commentary and, you know, I like to say funny things while I'm playing games. And I think you guys will really enjoy it, you know. Should I do this playthrough on my Disc Based Games YouTube channel? Or would you guys prefer that I do the playthrough on this channel? You know, just let me know in the comments what you think. Um, but yeah, I think you'll really enjoy watching me play this game. And the game is available here on Steam. I already bought it. It's part of my Steam library. Um, I bought it. It's only 30 bucks. And that's a, a 30 bucks well spent. Trust me, you will really enjoy this game. If you love action uh, RPGs, then you're going to love Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. It is really good. If you like, um, uh, what's that game that Blizzard put out that's very similar? Uh, I can't remember. That. Oh, Diablo. If you like the Diablo series, you know, that style of gameplay then you're going to love Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. You will love this game. Anyway, um, yeah, I plan on doing, uh, I'm planning on doing a complete playthrough in 2025 of this game. And it will be posted, the playthrough will be posted on my Disc Based Games YouTube channel. Now, it's going to be one level um, per video. And there's, I think, like 30 or 32 levels in this game. So that's like around 30 videos to, sh to do a complete playthrough of this game. That's a lot of content. So yeah, I, th I think you'll enjoy it. Anyway, let's get started. Hello, my name is Hans George Campbell. Today I am starting my playthrough of the PC version of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. I am playing the Elven Sorceress Adriana. <coughs> Adriana has grace, beauty, and magical powers 
that put the rest of this trio to shame. Like most sorceresses, she has sacrificed physical brawn and toughness for intelligence and power. Although it often seems as if a stiff breeze is enough to send her to her final reward, Adriana's magic is more than powerful enough to counter the toughest of opponents. Adriana is a very difficult character to play and is recommended for advanced players. She requires a lot of careful planning and skill along with a careful balance of battle tactics, feat selection, and proper armor maintenance. <clears throat> the best armor for Adriana is scale mail. The best weapon for Adriana is the magic morning star. The first one you get from one of the chests in the crypts level 2. The second, more powerful one, you buy from the vendor in Act 2. For Adriana's passive feats, I will be using Meditation, which will reduce her reliance on rejuvenation potions. For Adriana's active feats, or spells, I will be using Magic Missile, Burning Hands, and Lightning Bolt. Okay, let's get started with my playthrough of the PC version of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. <laughs> Act 1 You are weary from your travels but mesmerized at the sight of Baldur's Gate. Not only a town of myth and legend, but also a place where one can find fame and fortune round every corner. It is night as you enter the city, and it seems strangely deserted. But you soon discover that the night holds danger as well. And in an instant, that danger is upon you. Is it begins to make her? Indeed. Let's see what our little ambush has won us. Halt! Who goes there? It's the watch. Let's get out of here. Yes, but take the gold. Leave the rest for the watch. Damnable thieves. They grow bolder with each passing day. Still some life in this one. <laughs> Looks like all they did was make off with some possessions. Easy, easy there. That's quite a blow you took. Those thieves that attacked made off with your possessions, but at least you're alive. They're becoming more bold with each passing day. You'd best stay off the streets after the sun sets. It's not safe out here. You can seek shelter in the Elf Song Tavern. It's close enough. Aye, more than enough cutthroats there. Could be one of them would even know how to find those that attacked you. Drawn by a haunting voice, you come to the Elf Song Tavern. It is a small place, filled with a motley assortment of patrons and grisly trophies. There, the haunting voice is all around you, and the patrons are silent as the song washes over them. One by one, they all seemed lost in its call. Beautiful song, isn't it? I've heard her sing a hundred times, and each time it still moves me. It's the spirit of an elven woman. She haunts this tavern, singing once every couple of nights. 
No one truly knows. Her spirit was here when I first bought this tavern. Some say she sings for a lost love, a soldier who died defending Baldur's Gate. They say she sings in the hope he will hear her voice and return home. Still, that's nothing but hearsay and tales. Welcome to the Elf Song Tavern. What can I get you? Hmm. Sounds like members of that new thieves' guild I've been hearing about. You're lucky to be alive. Word is they're responsible for the murder of two city watchmen and the disappearance of several thieves from the old guild. Yes. Look, I wouldn't cross blades with those thugs if I were you. Just stay clear of them unless you want to end up dead in an alley, all right? No one knows where the guild hall is. Still, if you're determined to find them, try the sewers. I'll wager they've been using them to move around Baldur's Gate. It's probably what's been driving all those sewer rats up to the surface. Now there's a gate to the sewers in the cellar of this tavern. I locked it up a long time ago, before the guild war began. Well, there's a problem with that. Actually, maybe we can help each other out. Well, we've had to lock up the cellar because of the horde of rats that suddenly showed up down there. Clear them out for me and I'll give you the key to the sewer gate. And a little gold to help you get back on your feet. What do you say? The door to the cellar is locked, so you'll need to get the key from Ethan over in the corner there. Ethan's one of our regulars. He usually fetches wine from the cellar for me, but uh, he hasn't been able to go down there since the rats appeared. Only this past week. If those thieves are using the sewers to move around Baldur's Gate, they may have driven the rats out. Luck be with you. And watch those rats. Some of them can be vicious when back to the corner. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome, friend. I saw you come in. Nasty bump on the head you've got there. Something I can do for you? I do. We locked the door to the cellar once the rats started swarming around down there. Did you need it for something? Are you sure it was the rat problem? Or are you thinking of hunting down the thieves that attacked you? I overheard your conversation with Aleph. Look, friend, you've met them once and escaped with your life. Don't test your luck twice. Well, if the thieves won't keep you from going down there, maybe the rats will. Then, I won't say I didn't warn you. Here's the key to the cellar door. Don't be too long, or else I'll have to come down and get you. Oh, and before you go, take this dagger. It's uh, not much, but it might do you some good. All right. Okay, so... Okay, in the first act of... Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, there are side quests. And it is important that you do all of them if you want to quickly uh, level up Adriana. And the first side quest is this guy here. What do you want? I got no coin to spare. So don't think your begging will make me part with a single copper. Huh. 
Oh, there's always been thieves in Baldur's Gate. This latest batch may be a bit more bloodthirsty than most, but they haven't crossed me yet. Still, I'd rather be able to part with my coins at the bar than keep them in my purse. Ah, the bartender, Aelith, cut me off two nights ago. I keep coming back, hoping she'll change her mind, but... She hasn't come around yet. And with the cellars locked, I can't slip down below to get a spare bottle to tide me over. But maybe you could. Yeah, if you could find some way to get that cellar door key from old Ethan, then head down to the cellars to get me a bottle, I'd make it worth your while. Okay. Um, this here is the vendor for Act 1. There's no need to talk to him yet, but don't worry. We'll be talking to him quite a bit. Okay, so let's uh, uh oh, let's get started here, smashing all these barrels and crates and stuff. Lots of goodies to find. Lots of goodies to find. Gold. That's everything, isn't it? Yeah, that's everything. Okay. I think that is better than what she, that weapon there is better than what she has on now, so, yeah, it is better. So, we'll equip that. Go ahead and use that.
Yeah, I tried using a keyboard and mouse with this game when I bought it last night. Um, and it was terrible. It was absolutely horrible. So I uh, got out my old Logitech gamepad that I haven't used in years and plugged it in. And it works pretty good. It's a lot like using the PlayStation 2 controller. And uh, the buttons are very similar. And it works out really good. You can tell that this game was not designed uh, to be played using a keyboard and mouse. It's, you really do need a gamepad for playing this. So those of you that have bought this game and you're having problems playing it with a keyboard and mouse, try plugging in a gamepad. I use a Logitech gamepad that I bought at my local Fred Meyer. I think I paid like 25 or 30 bucks for it. I've had it for years and it works really good. Um, you can also buy an adapter on eBay that plugs into the USB port on your PC and it allows you to use PlayStation 2 controllers, real PlayStation 2 controllers. And of course that will work perfectly um, with this game because this game originally uh, came out on the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox way back in 2001 and they're just now releasing it for the PC 20 years later. <laughs> well at least they finally did release it to the PC so I'm real happy about that. Real happy about that. You can now play one of the greatest action RPGs of all time, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. I actually think this game, and a lot of people, a lot of you are going to laugh when I say this, but I think this game is better than World of Warcraft. I really do. I think it's a lot nicer game. Actually, a lot more fun to play. In fact, right before buying this game last night, um, I quit World of Warcraft. And I actually uninstalled it from my hard drive. Yeah, that freed up about another 70 gigabytes of hard drive space. And I logged on to Steam and bought this game. When I found out that, that Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance had finally been released on the PC, um, oh yeah, I quickly bought this game. This is one of my all-time favorite games. It really is. I love this game. I still have my original Xbox version of it in like new condition. And I still have my original PlayStation 2 version also in like um, new condition. So yeah, now I get to play it on the PC. So yeah. I was doing a complete playthrough on my PlayStation 2. I think I I did the playthrough all the way up to Thieves Guild level 1. But now that I have the PC version, which is in full 1080p HD resolution, um, I'd much rather do the complete playthrough on this. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys enjoy my efforts. <laughs> Because I was on YouTube, and there's not many playthroughs of the PC version of this game, which I found very surprising. It's a beautiful game. Okay. Yeah, I had to tweak my headphones. <laughs> yeah, I had to tweak my headphones. Yeah, so I thought, well, I'd do a, a complete, you know, I would do a complete playthrough of this wonderful action RPG, and, uh, yeah. And another thing I noticed, the people that have done playthroughs of this game, the PC version, they don't turn their camera angle around. They play it like Diablo, and I hate Diablo because of that. I like to be able to turn my, you know, character around, you know. 
I don't know if they're too lazy to do it or if they're stupid or if they don't know about it. But yeah, you can turn your camera angle around so that you're always viewing. I mean, you know, the player is viewing what your character is viewing. You know, you're going in the same direction as she's walking, see? I think it, it makes for a much better gameplay footage, you know. Okay, 15 rats remaining. Okay, I need some more mana potion. I don't know why they call them rejuvenation potion. Why not just call them what they are? Mana potions, you know. Yeah, they're mana potions. Okay, get back. Okay. You notice how I, I force them to come through this way. That forces them to go through a very small area so that they can't surround me. That's a strategy that I use all the time. You'll see me use it often while I'm playing this, this game. Because if you stay in a large, you know, wide open area, then they can surround you. See? But if you force them in a smaller area, that forces them to get in front of you, which is where you want them. Okay, open that chest. Let's see what kind of goodies we got. Okay. Uh, well, let's go over here. Yeah, I just love this game. It's one of my all-time favorite games. And I did find out that they are going to do later on this year, probably toward the end of the year, uh, around Christmas season, they are going to do the sequel. Uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Lines 2. They will be doing a sequel to this game, so I'm happy about that, too. I'm hoping that they also do um, Champions of Norrath and Champions Return to Arms, which all both of those games also use the Baldur's Gate Dark Lines engine. And another game that would be good that also uses the Baldur's Gate Dark Lines engine is Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah. It's a similar game, only it's like... Um, it's, it, the, it's like after a nuclear war or something. You know? It's like in the future sometime, after a nuclear war. It's a pretty cool game. Pretty cool game. Pretty cool game. See, by turning your camera angle around like this, I think it just looks better. And people that don't do it, they're either stupid or they're lazy. They're too damn lazy to do it. You know. And I'm not lazy. I'll do it. I'll turn the camera angle around, you know. Okay, because it just looks better when you can do that. I think my viewers will enjoy the video better, too. See, it forces them to go through that little small space. See? <clears throat> well, I don't think I found a, <coughs> a recall potion yet. I'm hoping that I find one. I don't want to have to walk all the way back. I mean, oh my god. I don't want to have to walk all the way back. 
Now that that would not be good. <laughs> that would not be good. That'd be good. Okay, so... That shield seems to be always in that chest. Every time I found that first shield, it's always been that, in that first chest. So, let's go ahead and equip that on her. Yes, Adriana can use a shield. Yeah, she can use a shield. Let me see if I got a recall point. Nope, no recall potions. Are you serious? Oh my god, I don't want to have to walk back. Oh my god. I don't want to have to walk back. That would not be good. So god, I've not found any recall potions. Oh my god, are you serious? No recall potions. Call potions. You gotta be kidding me. No recall potions. I hope I get one in here. Oh my god. I'm not gonna open the chest yet. Okay, we forced me to open it anyway. Grab that. Yeah, I know someone who would just love that fine bottle of wine to tide him over. <laughs> yeah, he'll love that bottle of wine. His face will light right up when I show him that. Look what I got for you, buddy. Look what I've got for you. Yeah, that's funny. I actually think Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance is a much better game, much more fun to play than World of Warcraft. That's sad. Because I remember when that game back in the early 2000s, well 2004 to 2009 I believe, um, that was actually a really fun game to play. But man, now it's just crap. It really is. I have to quit playing it. Yeah, it used to be World of Warcraft. Now it's World of Warcraft. Yeah, World of Warcraft. Now Microsoft owns it. I'm curious to see what they're going to do with it. They're probably going to mess it up even more. They might actually make it good. Who knows? That's gold. I want to pick up that gold. I don't want to leave any gold behind, okay? I cannot believe she hasn't found... Any recall potions? Oh my god, I don't want to have to walk back. You don't, you do not want them to gang up on it. They do a lot of damage. Too weak, girlfriend? Uh, is it too weak? Is it too weak, girlfriend? Uh, too weak? Boy, them call balls, they do not like that fire. Is your power too weak, girlfriend? Stop saying that. Your power is never too weak. Okay? Don't even don't even talk like that. Okay, girlfriend? Don't talk like that. Your power is never too weak. 
you are, repeat after me, you are an absolute badass. That's right. Absolute badass. Yep, you are. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I have, this has got to be the first time I have never found a recall potion. Oh shit, don't. Do not hit that. Oh my god, I remember the first time I did that years ago, and oh my god, it blew me, it blew me up. It blew Adriana up. <laughs> Holy crap. The proper way to do that is you get near it, you hit the X, and then back the hell away. Ooh. Man, that thing is dangerous. It's dangerous, man. Okay, it's time to level up. Um, okay. This is a no-brainer. Magic Missile is a must-have for Adriana. So the first point that you get, you always place it. If you're playing Adriana, you always place it in Magic Missile. Magic Missile get, uh, it gets more powerful as Adriana levels up. Okay. Alright, so we got Magic Missile now. Uh, I'm done. Okay. Cannot believe it. I have not found a recall potion yet. Oh my god, man. Are you serious? I don't want to have to walk all the way back. If I have to walk back, that's fine. I'll, I'll make sure I buy five of those damn things. I'll get five of those damn things. I usually always keep at least five of them on me. Because I know how often Adriana has to recall back to empty her bags. She's not that strong, so she can't carry much. And so you'll find that you're always having to recall back to empty your bags. Yep. Okay, well. Oop. Don't, do not hit that. Those there. In the center. Do not hit those. <laughs> Trust me. You'll only do that one time and you'll remember. You'll never do it again. Oh my god, man. No recall potions. Are you serious? Damn! <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> no recall potions. Oh my god. Oh. oh, don't hit that. I almost hit that damn thing. Ooh. Ain't too weak. It ain't too weak, girlfriend. You got plenty of power. Okay, so hopefully there's going to be a damn recall potion in one of these. There it is. Finally. Okay. Finally got one. 
I was hoping I didn't have to walk all the way back. Now I got a second one. I got two recall potions. Okay. Get that. Okay. All right, I'm going to show you the first secret in this game after I... I think she got a piece of armor she can use, so I want to... Okay, she got a, a better sword, so we'll equip that. And I think she got a piece of, like, boots that are better than what she has on. She has cloth boots, zero armor, weighs three pounds. These leather boots, worn leather boots, they're one armor and only weighs two pounds. So those are actually better. Okay. She has two recall potions, finally. Yeah, she's actually looking pretty good. So I'm going to show you the first secret in this game. And yes, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance actually has secrets. And you'd be surprised how many people passed, passed this secret up. All you do is you face that wall and you hit the X key. Just like that. And it opens up. There you go. Now that that beholder that's hanging above the fireplace, this is where I think it's Ethan. This is where he found it. It was lurking in here. Yeah, it was lurking in here. This is where he found it. Yeah, this is where Ethan found that beholder. It's hanging above the um, the fireplace, in case you were wondering. Okay. Now, she does not use a bow, but I'll pick that up because I can sell it for gold. That is a bow, right? Let me see. Yeah, it's a bow. I never use it. I mean, she doesn't use a bow, so... Okay, so uh, I'm not going to save it now. All right, now to recall back. you down there not long ago and I fear he may have gotten lost in the cellar or worse he may have wandered into the sewers I tried to stop him thank you but before you go please take these coins in payment for all you've done so far and as promised here's the key to the sewer gate be careful down there there are bound to be worse things than sewer rats in those tunnels. Okay. So now, let's turn in this first side quest. Okay. Managed to find me a bottle of Aleth's best yet? I found you something much better. Hi, it'll do me well enough. Thank you, friend. Uh, here, have a bottle from me. No idea what the thing does, but it smells awful, and it doesn't seem to have the kick I was looking for. Okay. So now, we gotta go over and talk to this vendor. Welcome, friend. If you're looking for a good blade or a sturdy shirt of chainmail, you've come to the right place. Our stock may be a bit low at the moment with the recent demand for weapons and armor, but a new shipment should be coming in soon. Aren't those 
sleeping clothes back in medieval time? Dude, when you came down the stairs there, you forgot to put on your clothes. <laughs> well, I don't know the cause, friend, but the word is there's been some trouble between the thieves' guilds of late. No matter to me if the two groups kill each other. Never had much use for thieves myself. Now, what can I do for you? We have many fine deals. What are you looking for? A gag for your mouth. Our shop carries the finest dwarven weapons. Brought here all the way from the Sunset Mines. I just bet it was. Okay, eight. Swords, axes, bows. We have everything you need right here. Axe for healing potion. I don't need to carry that to many healing skull, potions. Or a helm to protect your own. You'll come so, to I'll sell. I like to keep at least ten. Okay, recall potions. I like to have at least five recall potions at all times. Oh, I just bet it does. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I don't need any healing potions or the other. So we have yeah. many fine deals. What are you looking for? A gag Our for your mouth. The finest dwarven weapons. Brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. Oh, I just bet it was. Okay, so I got that. Okay. Swords, axes, bows. We have Okay. Um, enough of him. <laughs> enough of him. Okay, so now... We recall back to where she came from. Okay. Well, that's it for this first part <coughs> of my complete playthrough of the PC version of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. My name is Hans George Campbell. Stay tuned for part two.